correct. So we've got ways to make sure you have the biggest harvest in your backyard. We got Carson Arthur. Yay, thank you. We dragged him <laughs> from his haven way outside of the city and brought you in here. And I have not seen you in person in months and months. It's been really remote. So I'm just so happy to see you. I'm so excited to be here. Yeah. And I'll be honest, the reason I'm here is this is such an important cause to me. Like this mm. vegetable basket medley that we see here yeah. costs over $150. For people today to eat healthy, the prices are astronomical. Yeah. And plant-based diets are one of the biggest trends around the world. More and more people, we were just talking about yep. it, more people are investing in this than ever before. Mm -hmm. But we're doing it wrong. We could do okay. it better. So I'm gonna show people how to grow food in their own homes, whether it's a condo balcony, whether it's a backyard garden, whether it's a raised bed, but we're gonna do it based on companion planting. Okay. Who wants to hang out together in the garden? Because if you properly companion plant, mm -hmm. as in put plants together that live in a symbiotic relationship, yeah. they will do better with less. Okay, All right. so companion planting is putting them together, they help each other out. It's a beautiful relationship. Exactly, like us on the stage, right? That's exactly, right. that's it. So let's start with the Mexican fiesta. Okay. Now I say this because it's really easy for people to remember what kind of food they get at a Mexican restaurant. Yes. So Mexican cuisine actually is all companion plants. Okay. All the things you get want to grow together. So nice. we're going to start with a big, beautiful tomato. Okay. Consider the jewel Gorgeous. of the garden. Absolutely, everybody loves growing tomatoes, whether it's an heirloom big guy like this, or maybe it's a salad tomato or cherry tomatoes. Mm -hmm. They are the best, but tomatoes are fun. And that's oh, part of the problem, are. absolutely. And everybody's like, I can grow tomatoes easy. You can, but they want special buddies hanging out to grow even better. Right, they're so very with, exclusive. Exactly. They're so like with, a mean girl in the, in the garden. Well, we don't want to say that, but yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so with your tomatoes, yeah. and you think about the Mexican restaurant, obviously peppers. We want yes. to put peppers in with tomatoes, exactly. They okay. love the same growing conditions. Good. Same amount of light, same amount of care, so they really grow well together. But peppers actually stop insects from going after your tomato plants. Oh, perfect. Things like chipmunks, too, will not go through peppers to get to tomatoes because they don't like the smell of the leaves. Okay. So these guys want to grow together. Also, when you're thinking Mexican restaurant, I mean, yes. come on, you, you have to have onions. Onions. Yeah. onions and tomatoes and peppers, completely harmonious. They love growing oh, nice. together, absolutely. And onions stop hornworm, which is the number one thing that's gonna eat your tomato plants. Okay. So these are great for the tomatoes. I'm gonna put those down there. So like bodyguard, bodyguard, high maintenance. Exactly. Okay. We got the Whitney Houston right yeah. in the middle right here. Right in the exactly. middle, diva. <laughs> With those, yep. garlic, chives, any of those are gonna be part of this family. Bodyguard. Now you can't go to a Mexican restaurant without having good herbs, fresh yes. herbs, basil. These guys oh, all wanna nice. play together. In fact, for those condo dwellers out there, yeah. plant a tomato plant and put basil around it. The basil will protect the tomato. They love growing together. Basil actually helps the soil for the tomato as well. Oh, so it will grow nice. bigger and produce more fruit, okay. which is a key. Okay, is Diva doing anything for any of these people? She makes them look good. Okay. Let's just go with that, yeah, yeah. All also, right. cilantro, parsley, yes. all of the herbs we want to put there. So this, great in a planter bed together, great in a big okay. container, have some fun. Then you've got the other part of the garden. So we're just gonna yeah. put all these guys right over here. Okay, so this all is right. our Mexican Yeah, Mexican fiesta. fiesta. Down got the it. middle, we've got Switzerland. Where are the tacos? Just joking. <laughs> exactly. Okay. So down the middle, we've got Switzerland. These okay. are all the plants that can grow with pretty much anybody. They don't really care. All Things right. like kale is in there, lettuce, yep. spinach, leafy greens all tend to do really well. The one plant you want to put with these guys, though, yeah. believe it or not, are peas. And what are the peas gonna do? Peas are one of the only vegetables in the entire garden yeah. that actually put, puts more energy back into the soil than they take out. Oh. In fact, peas fix nitrogen in the garden and nitrogen helps leafy greens grow. Okay. So if you have peas planted near spinach, near lettuce, near kale, yeah. it really will take off and grow even better with less fertilizing. Now, if you decide you're not, like, if this isn't one of your favorite vegetables, does it still make sense to plant them? Absolutely. And these are give the ones you want to give them to your community. Yeah. Share with your neighbors because everybody can idea. use that. Absolutely. Very so nice. then let's talk about the Thanksgiving Day vegetables. Let's do now, it. Now, we know what a Thanksgiving Day table kind of looks like. We have yeah. a sort of an idea of what we like to grow there. Bountiful. We're going to start with beans. Now, beans, the reason we start with these, they're alleotropic. We're using Ooh, the big words today. Fancy. I know, right? Alleotropic means they secrete a toxin into the soil, a soil to stop competition. And the number one competitor for beans are tomatoes. 
So beans planted near tomatoes, beans will kill off the tomato Don't plant. Don't put them Don't together. Don't do that, absolutely. In fact, if you've had beans growing in your garden in a spot for even up to two years, you can't plant that tomato for several years after that because the soil is toxified. So. Beans are the problem child. They're toxic. They're, they're the bad ones uh, for yeah, many sorry reasons. Yeah, sorry to use an overused <laughs> yeah, exactly, TikTok term. Exactly. Right? So with toxic. the beans though, we're gonna put squash. Okay. Squash can handle beans. Yeah. Carrots do very well. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Nice. They can handle the squash, or okay. they, they can handle the beans. Other fun ones. Corn. Okay. Now you see where we're getting this Thanksgiving Day feast happening, yes. right? Cauliflower, amazing. Good. They all grow so well together and happily so. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah. It would be nice to grow your own cauliflower. It's very expensive. And you need some space. Yeah, cauliflower does space. require space. I have seen dwarf varieties in, co in condos yeah. on balconies, so you can do it. You just have to find the right one. Got it. All right, now there are some <laughs> plants that need to grow by themselves. Okay. Okay. Potatoes are a big loners. one. All right, those are loners. They require so much energy and effort. Yeah. Asparagus, strawberries, these guys okay. are going to all be by themselves. Okay. Got it. When it comes to fruit, we're starting mm -hmm. to see more and more people growing food, fruit at home. Mm -hmm. So, apples. The key to apples is plant another variety beside them. Okay. Multiple varieties promote extra growth. Oh, good. Yeah. good Plums, to know. pears, these guys, they all want to just hang out by themselves. Yes. They're totally fine in Bunch the garden. Bunch of introverts. Ag absolutely. We're yep. starting to see more and more people growing peaches. Mm. Peaches across the country are fantastic. So, peaches with apricots and nectarines because they bloom at the same time. And speaking of flowers, yeah. make sure you put flowers in your garden. They bring in more pollinators. More pollinators means more produce to share with the community. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, flowers with the food. Absolutely. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you, Carter.